All right, here's the updated um, branding. We now, uh, this is Robotech, and these are a series of different uh, robot uh, digital processes we have. Um, same basic sort of structure, just with a much cleaner look. So if we run this uh, app now, we come up with our, you can imagine this full screen on an iPad or on a um, tablet, and we can say robot base service. And then from here, maybe, you know, this is a touch screen, I can go through and check check boxes, do all those, um, you know, make sure I've got all my stuff, do all the, the items we might, we might want. And we can definitely enable these to be checkable as well. We just have to make sure there was, or the person who's setting it up has a unique um, phrase for each of the items. Or you could do it like consumables, and then you could number them one, two, three. And so you could, you could definitely make it work. It's just a matter of setting up that um, sub nav, and that'll be a page by page decision. Um, okay, so let's go to, to step two, or align. And you can see it now highlights a line in blue and then puts it in the heading so we can see we're in the align step. Uh, let's try Greece. So it sort of highlights where you need to run your Greece, and then four. Four. Oh, interesting. Hadn't thought of that. So it's recognizing it as FOR rather than the number. So I'll just say replace. And the cool thing is to fix that, I can just literally go into the uh, database just here and add as a extra synonym FOR. If we save that, that'll be my Kiwi accent. <laughs> Okay, saved, and now that's already updated. So if we run it again, go back to our home, go to robot based service, and now we choose four. That was FOR that time. Greece, four. Perfect. So FOR got recognized, but you can see it still now selects. Uh, that final step. Um, uh, so yeah, so setting up synonyms is actually um, really, really easy and all data driven too. So if uh, someone reports an error, you don't have to, you know, no one has to go back into the editor. You can do it from the cloud and everyone will get that change. Um, home. Cool. So I'll do a few more um, procedures and or we'll flesh out a few more of these procedures. And I think we've got a pretty, pretty sweet digital procedure manual demo and I'll, I'll probably enable a couple of maybe a couple of IoT samples and you know maybe make some of those boxes checkable but let's say that's all um, just to flesh out the scenario. Cool.